Wow. So in Houston, the Houston Independent School District is eliminating 28 libraries from schools and turning them into discipline centers. Uh, probably more like, you know, abuse centers. Right now at six, libraries are being cut from some HISD schools. Librarians are concerned the move will cripple the learning curve for students. I actually think it's a significant disservice to the students of HISD. The central Tonight. office numbers and Tonight, city leaders are also pushing back on Superintendent Mike Miles' latest move to overhaul the district. The district says the libraries will be converted to team centers for students with behavioral issues. KPRC 2's Corley Peel live outside Pew Elementary. Wow, what a way to just ban books all together. Instead of fighting about banning LGBTQ books, they're just going to remove the libraries. Pray with what this move means for current librarians. Corley. Yeah, Pew Elementary is one of the schools that will no longer have a library or have that librarian position. And Mayor Sylvester Turner also weighed in today saying that this move is unacceptable. I spoke with some former librarians who say that this could hurt student performance. A school library is a wealth of knowledge. Former librarian Lisa Robinson says. So when students need to go somewhere to do research or get on the computers or something, what are they supposed to do? Get on their phones? But wait a minute, phones are usually banned from use during school hours. It's full of some of the greatest stories ever told. It was just such a joy to help them find that perfect book. She says those stories now ripped to shreds. My heart is just broken for these children who are in the NES schools that are losing their librarians. As of this week, librarian positions at 28 new education system schools are eliminated. The district says librarians at NES and NES aligned schools can transition to other roles in the district. Libraries in 57 NES schools will be assessed on a case by case basis. For Superintendent Mike I'm Miles says to... students are behind on reading levels, especially in fourth grade. For... So removing libraries is just going to make that worse. When I was going to school, I checked out a lot of books from the library to read on my own time and during school. Uh, having access to books helps people increase their education. Former ISD librarian and manager of library services, Janice Newsom, says eliminating librarian positions will hurt reading performance even more. When students engage in reading as an activity of choice, they are not only building that reading muscle, but they are also developing their vocabulary. They're understanding a bit about the world that exists outside of their three block radius. The schools impacted are in predominantly underserved communities. Our less fortunate students are the ones who suffer the most, primarily. No surprise there that they're going to remove the libraries from the uh, poorest schools. And probably use most of that money to help fund the more wealthier schools. Because many of them live in situations that are reading deserts. Okay, they simply don't have access to the reading materials. They don't have choice in the reading materials that they are given to read. So what about the parents who want libraries at their school so that kids can access books? Don't parents have that kind of right and choice? Just like how parents have the choice and right to have certain books removed from libraries? Robinson hopes the district can piece back the stories that students may never learn. And the retired librarians that I spoke with say that it is concerning that the library will now be used as a place where students will receive punishment and also double as those team centers as well. Now, we did reach out to the superintendent's office for comment today, and they said that they would not be doing any, any interviews, and we tried to ask why this move was necessary, but they did say the superintendent will be taking questions during his family planning event tomorrow night so we will be attending that meeting again the district also says that students will have access to the libraries at the NES schools before and after class but we of course will keep you updated as we learn more